All right, hey guys, it's Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment, and we've got Kevin here with us in the booth today. Kevin, how's it going? I'm doing great. Good, good. Hey, today it's middle of December, and Kevin was up here in the office today, and we were talking about products and, and, and things that, that we saw coming down the road, and we've got a lot of chatter about row cleaners, and, and row cleaners specifically on bean planters. Um, so we thought it'd be a good idea to do a video about row cleaners and talk about what options we've seen. Let's start off, Kevin, by talking, what have you seen with soybeans on planters and, and guys that have done it and their success? And so I've been talking to a lot of guys here lately about these John Deere 1790 planters, whether they are 24 or 32 rows. Yep. And uh, the guys are still hovering around that 160,000 seeds per an acre population. Yep. And they're talking about how can I get better emergence with and still being able to drop your population. And a lot of guys are playing around with vertical till tools and stuff like that in yep. the spring. Problem is, is that some of these springs can get really short. Yep. Then they are in, against the eight ball of trying to get these beans in the ground. And so an easy way to get better emergence yeah. without another trip across the uh, the field would be putting these uh, narrow row cleaners that are made for 15, 20, or 22 inch planters. And another great uh, perk about that is also a lot of these planters have that no-till colder put on them. And so if you take that no-till colder off, especially those 1790s, they will go into the ground a lot easier. Yep. You said a lot there, Kevin. Um, to, to, to back up and talk more about it, we really advocate removing that no-till colder. We feel that it, it creates a smoother seed bed. Your, your planter unit's gonna ride a lot smoother. It'll go in the ground better. Um, but what these row cleaners do for us is they move all that corn residue out of the way. These guys that wanna plant soybeans efficiently, they're going in there early, moving residue with the row cleaners and just dropping seeds right in there. Soybeans don't need baby a whole lot. You can grow 60 bushel soybeans easily, just no-tilling them in the right conditions, and that's what row cleaners offer us. Um, you said something about narrow row cleaners. Talk to us about the difference between the narrows and the wides. Yeah, and so the biggest question we always get is, what is the difference? And so with the uh, O13As, the narrow, narrow row cleaner, yep. that is a 45 degree angle, where the O29s is a 60 degree angle, which has been the most common row cleaner over the past years. Yep. And so those are made for 30 inch rows. Yep. So basically it's just the pitch right here. This is a 60 degree angle row cleaner. The 45 is just narrower. And the reason for that is so that we don't throw residue onto the other row. We hear a lot of guys talking, oh, well, that one, the uh, back row is going to cover up the front. Well, that's not true because we run a 45 degree angle and it, it's an awesome way to plant soybeans. I've got a lot of guys that successfully no-till soybeans and it's all because of these row cleaners. You cannot plant into that residue. We've got to get it moved with row cleaners. So here I'm showing us our, our two main options here. We've got the Yetter row cleaner. Of course, we love the depth bands. We feel that's important. Um, this is a Martin ACCR. That's their parallel linkage row cleaner. And you can see the different wheels here between the shark tooth and the finger. We can also get the Martin razor wheel on here, but you can see this Martin wheel interlocks and the Yetter overlaps. Um, so we feel they both have their own scenario, but uh, Kevin, talk to us a little bit about the air cylinders and why you feel that's important. And so having that air cylinder, 32 rows is a lot of rows to be going in there and adjusting manually because yep. you can put the floor in both of these row cleaners to where you put the floor, it can't go any lower than that, but it can still float up. And if you do that multiple times a day, if you're going, you're changing field conditions or whatnot, you don't want to spend that time in your back going to hurt by doing that. Yep. And so by putting that air cylinder in there, you're taking all of that uh, time and effort out of it by just being able to adjust it from the cab. Yep, it allows us to quickly adjust our row cleaner depth from the cab so that we're just tickling the residue, we're not burying or, or digging valleys uh, with dirt, we're just moving the residue. So it's an awesome way. We typically use the Precision Clean Sweep controller in the cab. It's the dial that's gonna lift and, and adjust these row cleaners right where we want them. So if you guys are in the market for row cleaners or if you have no-till colders on your planter today, we highly suggest getting rid of the no-till colder and putting a row cleaner in front of there 
We've seen huge advantages of doing so. Less down pressure, no hair pinning, better seed to soil contact, and a smoother ride. Uh, a lot of that adds up to better yield in the end. And so. another thing we need to also address would be the return on investment. A lot of these guys think 32 rows of row cleaners, that's a lot of money, yep. which it is. But if you think about it, the way you can you really get these things to pay off quicker is by, say, if you start at a 160,000 population, I would really suggest that you uh, do a couple uh, test strips throughout these fields. You go uh, 160 or normal, do 150, 140, 130. Really start honing in on that optimum seed population for your farm. That's where you can really see this money spent pay off quick. Absolutely, and we talk about that a lot with our poly closing wheels, is a lot of guys will plant 160, but only harvest 90. That's a huge gap, and we need to close that gap with soybeans. And we can do so with row cleaners to plant into a clean seed bed and to close the slot correctly with a closing wheel. A great closing wheel and an awesome row cleaner up front are the two main ingredients that you need to successfully plant soybeans with a planter, hands down. So, Absolutely. well, thanks, Kevin. That's what we're doing today here at the shop. And uh, this was our, our third episode of the Talk and Shed video series. So we appreciate Kevin jumping in today. And that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.